Hello, my name is Lana and today we're going to be going over solutions for Chapter 9 of Fundamentals of Corporate Finance, 9th edition, the textbook by Ross, Westfield and Jordan. Problem number 4, Chapter 9, Calculating Discount and Payback. Problem number 4 reads as follows. An investment project has initial um, has annual cash flows of 4200, 5300, 6100 and 7400 and a discounted rate of 14%. What is the discounted payback period for this cash flows if it's the if the initial investment is 7000? And the second question is what is the what if the initial cost is 10000? what if it's 13,000? So we have three questions that ask the same question but gives different initial investments. So we're going to start with the first scenario. When we use discounted payback we need to find the value of all cash flows today. So we're going to be using the present value. The value today of the project cash flows for the first four years is as follows. The present value of cash flow, the um, cash flow in year one, is we, we're using the present value formula here. So we're going to take the cash flow for the first year divided by one plus the interest rate. So one plus. 0.14 that gives us 3000 684 21 cents um, the formula the general formula for present value is you take your cash flow in whatever year and you divide it by 1 plus the interest rate and that's going to go to the power of whatever amount of years. So th that's the formula we're using to calculate the present value. Now going to the second cash flow. Present value for the cash flow for year 2 is Taking the cash flow, it's 5300, and we divide it by 1.14 to the second power. So that's going to give us 4078.18. Similarly, we're going to the third year. The cash flow in third year is 6100 divided by 1.14 to the third power because this is the third year. That gives us 4117.33 cents. Present value of year four cash flows 7400 divided by 1.14 to the fourth power that gives us 4,381.39 cents so now we have discounted cash flows for all four years to find the discounted payback we use these values to find the payback period. The discounted first year cash flow is 3684.21. So the discounted payback for a 7000 initial cost will be as follows. It will be 2 years So after one year, we still not recover the initial investment. So we're going to take 
one plus whatever we need and we need seven thousand minus what we have already recovered in first year divided by the second year discounted cash flow. So that's going to give us 1.81 years. So that answers the first question, which is what gives us initial investment of 7,000. Now for this, for the second question, the second question, an initial cost is 10,000. So after t first two years, we still don't recover. 10,000. So the discounted payback will be somewhere between two and three years. So we're going to take two years plus whatever we need. And we need 10,000, that's our initial investment, minus the first year cash flow. then minus the second year cash flow and that we can divide that by the third year cash flow so that gives us 2.54 years so that's our uh, discounted payback period if the initial investment is 10000 Now for the third question, the initial investment is 13000 So we're pretty much going to follow the same, uh, the same pattern. We know that we don't recover the initial investment up to the first three years so it's going to be somewhere between three and four we're going to take three years plus whatever we still need and whatever we still need is thirteen thousand which is the initial investment minus whatever we recovered in first year then the second year then the third year and we divide that the total by the cash flow in fourth year So that gives us 3.26 years. So we can see that the larger the initial investment is, the more years it takes to recover it. So the payback period is gro grows with the if, if the amount of initial investment grows.